Welcome back. In the previous chapter, we started building out our dashboard to show the metrics for our management team. Now, let's continue building out our dashboard with widgets that will help me as a team lead. As a refresher, what I was looking to see was a fun way to show my team the status of their tasks, the time spent on tasks per person, and overall resource management, so being able to check that if my team is under or over capacity. Hopping back into my Monday account. Now, there are a couple of ways that I can build out my section of the dashboard. I can continue using the dashboard, the same dashboard as management, but create a section at the bottom so that everything is in one central location for management and myself. Or I could choose to create a separate dashboard view and only show the metrics on this dashboard view for myself. This option is a great one if you're looking to share it with somebody outside of the account, such as another team lead, without showing more data than what they need to see. It can also be more efficient so you don't have to scroll through the dashboard to pass the widgets that are not relevant to what you're trying to see. For me personally, I like seeing the data that management sees as well because it offers a wholesome picture of where we are at project-wise and opening our office. For that reason, I'm going to continue adding widgets to this dashboard, but make it clear that I am now looking at the section for me. To make it clear that this is now entering into my section, I'm going to go ahead and add in our text widget. and add in the text of something like team lead report. Now, this doesn't stand out very well, so I am going to make it bold. I'm going to change the color to something a little bit more fun, and I'm going to adjust the size to make it larger. And for aesthetic purposes, I'm gonna go ahead and center it so that now, as we scroll, it's very easy to see that we are entering into a different section. So now that I've broken this dashboard up into our different sections for management and myself, I can start adding the widgets that will showcase the report that I'm looking to see. Now, looking back at our board, I wanted a fun way to show my team the status of their tasks by using the status column. Now, management is already using a battery widget and I wanted something a little bit more engaging. So for this reason, I'm going to use our llama farm widget. Because the llama farm widget will show you the task in your board as a llama and the color of the llama is corresponding to the status label color of that particular task or item. This gives us a quick visual way of seeing how many tasks are in each status so we can easily track our progress. Plus it makes talking about reports and metrics a little bit more fun when you know you have to take care of the llamas and not let them starve by not being completed before their due date. Next, I wanna be able to see how much time each team member is spending on their tasks. So looking back at our board, we already added a time tracking column so that the team members, when they're working on their tasks for this project, they can start and stop the time tracking column and it will record how much time they spent per task. Now to see the combined time spent per person across all of their tasks, on our dashboard, I'm gonna go ahead and add in our time tracking widget. and then adjust the settings so that it shows exactly what I'm looking for. So I'm looking to see the total time tracked per team member. 
And then I would like to see it on a monthly basis. You could see it on a daily, weekly, or yearly basis. And then you can also add in a threshold. So if I don't want team members to spend more than 200 hours per month on their tasks, the time tracking column will highlight who has spent more on their tasks. So now I can reach out to this team member and check in and see how I can support them. Lastly, I wanted to be able to see how much capacity each team member is at per week so that I can make sure the work is being spread fairly. A great widget to see resource management is our workload widget. Now, going back into our board, the way this widget works is it will pull from our people column and the numbers column that we used for our estimated hours of how long we expect each task to take. Going back to our dashboard, let's go ahead and add this widget. Great. So now using the widget, I can clearly see how much effort each team member is putting in and where I can either add to their workload or remove from their workload on a week to week basis. This completes our single project dashboard for both management and myself as lead. Now, when we go to re review our metrics for opening up our new office, we can clearly see where we are at with our different tasks, due dates, budgets, resources, so that we can make the most efficient decisions moving forward. In the next chapter, we're going to build out a report involving multiple boards so that we can showcase the data from our different teams in one central location.